So with all those uh, jo those jabs that uh, Hype was making at Matt's expense last part, you want to know what Hype is now? Where? Dead. Oh, oh, he's that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's not dead. <laughs> Die. And I'm yep. not waiting anymore. Uh, You're dead. I see you. Zap. <sighs> oh, God. And I believe that kills them. Yeah. Because they're like burnt to... No, I, it, I it hope to God that kills, kills them. them. Okay, so that is... That is, I guess, what can turn... That is why Claire's can definitely be a, like, easy mode. Because once you get this weapon, it is a hundred times more effective than the flamethrower. Provided you have the space. Because as you noticed, you have to stand in one place while charging. So make sure yeah. it's either one-on-one -on -one or there's a lot of space between you and any other threats. And how would you say... How would you say ammo supply is for that thing? For right now, very limited. Like, these six shots are all they give us for the sewers, and you can never make any more, but I do believe you can find some once you get to the nest. Yeah, I all believe right. there are more in the nest. Oh, boy. Which is why what are you, you doing? It, which is why I will say one of the best strategies for the game, save that gun. Don't use it. Save it for the final boss. It it, it comes in handy. <laughs> okay. Let, okay, they die off quickly, at least. Wait for it. There it goes. I'm waiting for the I'm waiting for that adult G to walk past so I can run behind him because I really don't want to fight him. Ah. Okay, let's go. He's moving. Just in case. You Should never know when I'm gonna have to pop does exactly what I t said not to do. What was that? Jump into this guy? Oh, hello. oh crap! Yeah, no, he. That that's another thing. He has the. They have those shells. So. The shield, yeah. You have to wait until the shells off, and then you can pop him in the eye. But at this point, I'm like, I already wasted two spark shot things on this guy. And I really want to make sure this counts. And boom! Four. The best part is that these things somehow get worse in three. They do. The giant fish mongoloid thing. That is a gamma. Oh. That's that's. Not, oh, that's the gamma. No, that's a gamma hunter. That's not. G oh, that's right. The the advanced forms of the. Yeah, other. those oh, are. Oh, you mean the frogs? 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 Yep, the frogs. Yeah, yeah. The, I, I always thought they were like fish. You know, I've been playing too much Bloodborne. Anywho. Oh, by the way, I saw that actually recently. There was a. Uh, there's a whole fan project. I don't think. I think it's only the first quote unquote level up until you fight the cleric beast, but. Uh, someone has actually finished making a fully like demastered Bloodborne D game. Yeah, demake in uh, in uh, PS1 style. Oh yeah, yeah, we're like PSX PS1 project. Which I'm fairly I'm actually, certain yeah. we already have that game, and Cat Ecker has talked about it. I forgot the name, but hmm. oh, Dumb on Medieval? No, 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 it's a different game. Hold on. Um... Honestly, the only reason I'm familiar enough with that news is because I I, I recall that the uh, this um, composer I, I watch on YouTube, the Noble Demon, has made a few compositions for it. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, no. Oh, hey, you. Stay down. What happened to your hands? Thank eh? you. <laughs> say it like so, it so, is, Claire. So she does say some things, but I don't know if that means that it's dead or that's just her reacting to the... How did you live? Keep the knife. It's freaking... Like, it's almost pretty much dead anyway. It's pretty much dead weight. Actually, yeah, this thing has like one charge left in it. Bye. Oh well, it'll, oh, well, it'll save me once later. Uh, wait for it. My God, and Caddy geez. doesn't want people to watch his old videos at all. Wait, did he remove it? No, 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 or no, no. It? He he right in all of his old videos. Like I want to say, before that. 2017, he just puts old in front of all of them. I mean, honestly, it's good on him. That's usually what I do when I when I decide when I feel like I don't oh, want to highlight any of my older shit. That's fair, but I, mean, I was I... rewatching some of our old stuff, and I I thought they were still fine. Well, I understand. I don't know how to put it. Like, I understand if we're gonna put old in front of something that we definitely are doing, like you know, a redo of. Be it the Donkey Kong. Stuff, I mean, that's pretty much what I've been doing nowadays. Like, if I if I know we're gonna be redoing it somewhere down the road, I'll probably those are likely gonna be the ones nice. I'll put in the that old like that outdated folder. No, and I get that, I, but like in the sense of with, but otherwise, like in the case of Kid Icarus, I guess it implies to me that like, did his format or did his like style or humor really change all that much? I between think he the feels two, uh... it does, but I think because we're such long-running fans, we mm -hmm. like don't notice. Maybe. Uh, also, also, yeah, also, there's... I will say I found it. It's called Nightmare Creatures. Nightmare ah. Creatures. I'll look that up. Also, there would have been the VHS tape. As you can see, 
there. Yep, and you're not going to show I'm not it because take you're it a because yeah. It's well, the exact we already, same. Already saw it. Yeah, I, I, mean, gra- I mean, granted, I think it would be far more fitting in, in Claire's scenario than Leon's, but that's just me. That's fair. But here's, I, al- I but prob- here's also the thing. Logan legitimately sold me, hey, Matt, you showed those off, right? Because uh, I ignored those. I'm like, well, I haven't even finished my playthrough, but thanks for letting me know. Cool. Thank you, man. You're the best. Fuck you. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> yeah. And that was the last we heard of Matt for a while, but Where a homunculus quickly you? took it. But a homunculus quickly came in a pit. Oh no! <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back. But um, but yeah. Then it was um. Sorry. Uh. Well, because like the whole time I was thinking like, oh well, I'm I'm the second playthrough. Like I'm like the I'm just the cleanup crew. Like nobody. Yeah, but seen what stuff if it was different? And then you didn't know, and you had to go through that whole thing and just ignored it. What if it That's was? White. That's why you guys keep tabs on each other. Otherwise, I would have been quite the fool. <laughs> I mean, you usually are, but yeah. Nightmare Creatures apparently had a mobile game, what? like on like flip, like on flip phones. I'm not surprised. In 2003, Most PS1 published games by GameLoft. But yeah, published no. Uh, by, uh, Nightmare Creatures, yeah. like pretty much, it it pretty much was old school Bloodborne. Survival horror uh, made by Callisto Entertainment and published by Konami. Just look huh. at just look at like gameplay footage of it and uh, like the way it plays, and you're like, oh yeah, this looks like and, and like the style and all that. You go, oh yeah, this is Bloodborne. I'm looking into that. Yeah, no, this is actually it is interesting to me because I do Bloodborne is one of my favorite FromSoft games next to Dark Souls. From Software, yeah. actually, it, it, it is I'm, a I'm, fantastic game. I love it. I, I, and I will throw it out there. I. I like three a bit more than one. One I think is oh, yeah. one I think is incredible. One I do think is incredible for how it did like a Metroidvania thing, completely open world, like everything connected. But uh, I will I will outright say that there are parts of there are, there are parts of Dark Souls that I think were improved upon in three, and uh, I think I, I think because of the phrase the Dark Souls of this genre, I think Dark Souls sometimes gets a bit of a bloated yeah, head. Yeah, no, but I I did as well. Uh, like I I have played all three of them and also bloodborne and yes i also can attest i prefer three over uh one and two one. and uh also definitely two yeah two, two was okay but definitely didn't feel like proper all that no, it, it, but, it definitely let's, felt, it definitely let's felt also like... be fair bloodborne is just the best of them all like the i best. i think i think bloodborne's music and the theming that it does is really well done I mean, from what I hear hear about it, it always feels like Bloodborne felt like the real Dark Souls too. Yeah. Also- oh no, absolutely. Oh no, absolutely. Because that was a uh, fun fact, uh, James. It was um, uh, I guess how to put it. it basically, what basically not as bad. Absolutely, one hundred percent not as bad. But Dark Souls Two was was basically the same sort of situation as Devil May Cry 2. That's also, what I was where, thinking, yeah. Also, really where quick. They co- where they took the property and the other guy wasn't around yeah. for it. Also, hey, really quick. Hey, people, do you want to see a man die on the inside really, like in a record amount of time? Hey, Logan. No, no. Hey, Logan. <laughs> what? Orphan of Kos. <sighs> Cause it's cause, cause them, you dumb dumb. They, sa- <laughs> they, they say it visu- They say it verbally. Also, it's I'm been fucking for years, but orphan of cause. How about that? Uh, okay, so that I'm gonna say is the one thing I'm a little bit, I guess, partially a little bit ticked about. Also, doing this to a find a hiding place and again find the. Um, why am I forgetting her name? It's been so long. Sherry? The woman from... No, no, the woman Annette? from Resident Evil 1. Oh, uh, oh Rebecca? Rebecca? Rebecca, thank you. Oh, yeah, the Rebecca uh, picture. He's, Rebe- yeah, he's looking for the Easter egg. And what you're yeah, I did saying, find Logan? the Rebecca picture because I didn't think... Yeah, and I did find... And I did take the Rebecca picture because I didn't think he was going to do it, but there you go. Yay. Um, was that... Um, in Bloodborne, I would have loved it a lot more if you weren't required to go through... Ooh. Nice. That's a big upgrade for the uh, SMG, which oh, yeah. uh, merely gave me a full clip. Anyway, uh, I would have loved it a lot more if I will not You're say anything remember, because it's you, potential. Remember, you found this in Wesker's desk. Remember, she may be in high school when that picture was taken. I'm <laughs> looking at everyone in the chat. I'm fairly certain she is 18 or 17. Either way, it was fucked up. I I think it's it was still 18. Too yeah. close. Oh yeah, no, to too risk. close. 
And give me a full ammo. Re- nice. out- and, and remember, in the HD version of Resident Evil Zero, there is a Wesker mode where Rebecca is his sidekick. Uh, by the oh, way, you were saying, that. Logan? Uh, just, just that I wish uh, I would have loved Bloodborne a lot more if I. There we go. Jeez. If you if you weren't required to go through the uh, Chalice Dungeon, Which, because well, to be fair, for the, the Chalice Dungeon for the most part, was those... DLC. No, no, no. Well, well, one of them were. The Chalice Dungeons were actually there from the very beginning. Nice. So this is the hiding place. You get more uh, up. You get more ammo for the spark shot. Um, so as I finally ran all the way back, um, but yeah, no. The, the fact that like I really needed the Orphan of Cause. I, I needed to fight all the. I needed to go through all those Chalice Dungeons to get to the level that I could actually beat the Orphan of Cause because the scaling in that game can be pretty yeah. rough at times. Yeah, I will admit that as well. Uh, so, so if it were possible to, I'm just loading up because we're gonna be doing some fighting ahead of us now. If it were possible for me to, um, let's go to high caliber rounds. If it were possible for me to play the entire game without having to even touch a Chalice Dungeon, I would do that game live for the channel or do something. It, it would be, it I would be like playing. Uh, it would be like playing Devil May Cry, but you were forced to. It'd be like playing Devil May Cry, but to get uh, to fight the final boss or any ultimate boss, you have to uh, Do the play the Blue bloody palace. challenges. You have to play B- bloody palace. Oh, I forgot about bloody palace. I was I was thinking more of like the little optional things you do to get like imagine if you imagine if those optional things to get more blue orb pieces like you needed to otherwise the boss had an attack that can deal more damage than you had health to test yeah to, like and that's contend with. and that's fair but also the fact of like the chalice dungeons were long they were long well they're long Bloody and more and, long. And, and, and and right and more and more uh and I'd say, as far as James's nice. side in terms of having to watch it all nice. more criminally, the pal- the 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 chalice dungeons are repetitive. Yeah, because they literally are meant to. Not all of them. The 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 ones made by the developers follow a same a similar like formula. Like it's all the same, but they're designed to be like almost like Dark Cloud actually by level five. It's meant to be procedurally generated and put and put together dungeons. Ah, yeah. So the issue is that every hallway starts to look the same and it's there are some there are some new and interesting battles and i can't get to sherry because the power's out um but otherwise it's if there was anything in that game that i was going to like cut through or skip through it would definitely be me showing off the chalice dungeons because you could easily spend five hours on those chalice dungeons alone whereas where, where the level so yeah. maybe you know i could see myself maybe doing similar with the dark souls and other things i could see myself doing that game um, almost Ca- nope. like casually among us. I did this. Yeah, like doing live. It. Shut up. Uh, I could see <laughs> myself doing that live as like live commentary, like we've done with other things. But uh, it, but when it comes to do that, there we go. Close enough. But when it comes to the uh, Chalice Dungeons, I will. I would ab- absolutely cut that. Yeah. Like, stuff out. And just say, hey, I leveled up. Look at me. Yeah. No, I wouldn't and... mind. Also, also fun fact. Uh-oh. I, I showed it off in mine. I don't know if Logan showed it off. If you stand in a specific corner, then he literally cannot get you at all. I think I was too. I think I was too busy panicking. Yeah, you're too busy. <laughs> but the good news, but, the but good... if you stand by the door, oh, oh damn it. Yeah, if you stand by the door over there, he legitimately cannot get you. Literally was... standing right in front, right next he to the fire. Yeah. Right next to the door. The good news though is that again, just use your headphones or use your li- listen for him. Oh god. Wow, just you're taking for a him lot of unnecessary can... damage. Listen to him because he can, you can hear him above uh, the ceiling. Where is he? Okay, this is where you put your five, five nights at Freddy skills to the test. Yeah, no, he dropped down. Which, by the way, I five nights at Freddy's. I think four. Is also, probably Logan one of my also is just group. this wrong. What? Yeah. So, speed speed running strat. If you run by that, if you stand by right next to the garage door where you run past Birkin. Uh, I showed it off in mine. You, li- he literally one cannot get you, and two when he jumps, when he smashes through the door, you can just go right past him, just right that, past the, the, him. I'm sorry for assuming that that animation where he rips through sheet metal like it's paper would actually not harm Claire, the goddess. The of fire all cannot fires. harm you in this game. Your own fire. Oh damn it! How did he get Wait, you? I didn't take damage. I don't know how he got me, but I didn't also. I also didn't take damage because my health didn't drop down at all. So beyond that, you you already have seen how this works. You understand how the. Okay, so I guess he's just knocking you, but he's not actually hitting. Also, you're saying. Oh, Die! Also, you're saying. Don't Logan mind earlier. the footage. 
uh, about the, uh, th yeah, that, that's just how I would cover Bloodborne, no worries. I, I, it's something I would like to do, because I think the From Software games are fun, but oh, otherwise... Yeah, no, I'd like to join you for that. <laughs> also, I'm otherwise... guessing you're looking forward to Elden Ring. Oh, absolutely. I, I signed up for the uh, public beta to see if oh, it'll let me, uh... And... You better show that off. Go! Uh, okay. little, you were a little late on the late on the late on the late ah, little late on the flash there, buddy. Yes, it was, but hopefully. <laughs> well, that's all, one. folks. Stand still. Oh, that better be close enough. Watch it, fucking knock him aside like it did mine. They're coming. Okay, yes. he was in the same fucking position I had him in in one portion, and it was just just go back to Where that. He met, what he, I I make it out alive, and well, naturally also, it, should, it one, should be him. This pissed me off. Oh, what? I'm lucky. Oh god, I'm not. Okay, Master. take that. Take health. Take health. Take health. All right, there we go. Got ourselves a, de a defense boost to boot. <laughs> and now we're oh, gonna get. Oh look at that! You're boot. organizing your fucking inventory, Logan. Because it's easy in this. It's, <laughs> it's literally two slots. It's not having to play freaking Tetris every time I want to go to my thing. Right. Just you wait until I can start showing the VR things to you. And okay. Be Why is he so, so? Like, watch this. He's going to get hit and all that. He's going to get hit. Yeah, okay. That seemed to work. But for some reason, when I did it, it just nudged him to the fucking side. Not showing the clip again. Do man. it! You can't talk your way out of this one. Yeah! I mean, it's like the Chief Wiggum had you. Show me twice. I mean, for all we know, at the time of this recording, you might forget to actually show off the first take. I will show off the first take. I remembered the coconuts. <laughs> I remember hey, the coconuts. I, I hope you did. I hope you remember deck there, coconuts. Alfred would never let me forget. Watch this video. Watch watch. by the time we get around this. It comes out completely in the wrong order. And people are like, what the fuck is he talking about the coconuts? <laughs> anyway. You know, for anyone who plays Arkham, you'll see. Anyway. And we did it. And meanwhile, we have an actual... Uh, I guess there's a sort of interesting parallel in the sense of, like... Meanwhile, Annette is... Going is thinking completely with her mind logically, and still trying to quarantine. Whereas we're actually being the ones going so compassionate to completely throw away all of that to risk it all to save Sherry. Yeah, because she is not doing too hot. Also, again, like again, Annette is just two completely different characters in A and B, and also, like I'm saying, the, the, uh, fucking Capcom had the opportunity to actually intertwine the two stories. And they refused. The, for some reason, these two scenarios seem completely disconnected to each other compared to the original game. I mean, honestly, at that point, they may as well just gone, like, the full nine yards and just treat this exactly like they tried to with the original 1.5 take of RE2. Yeah. yeah. And, uh... And again, and again, we have no idea uh, how far this is going to go or how much is uh, going to be remembered moving forward. But uh, no matter what we do here, apparently some part of this G thing lives on in Sherry. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, okay. It's kind of like Wesker. A part of the T lives on in him, but he was, but he's able to control it and uh, use it for his own abilities after taking a general cure for it. Unfortunately... Sherry is somehow nowhere as cool as he is after this. Uh, kind of, sort of. She, I mean, she does have G abilities, but not oh, as God cool seems. as, like, say, Wesker or anything like that. I mean, all it's it's pretty much just the Wolverine effect, regenerative properties. That's more or less it. Yeah, for no, I would have loved to see just freaking Hulkamania kind of like crap going down. <laughs> I don't want to see this little girl suddenly turn to a goddamn. Well, not this little when, when she's older and five or whatever it is, like six. I don't six. know, six, it, it, six. Thank you. It just I don't know. I just think of it like it would have been like really interesting to have like a new mechanic where like it's basically like the precursor to freaking. Uh, uh, Uncle Swamp Man punching gators. Joe Baker. Joe Baker. Uncle Swamp Man. How does a man become so strong enough that he can punch punch gators and just and the freaking mold? Talk mold. to any man in Louisiana. I got. I I I can't wait. Talk to men in Louisiana oh, and sure Florida. Uh, Get me in there. Get yeah, me in I there, please. Oh. And there, there it we goes. Go. There we that go. That was the cut. That was the cutscene taking a long time to load oh, on my yeah. computer. So sorry. 
Continue. It's almost like the PS4 version is okay. better. Anyway, um, Shut up. <laughs> oh no, I, 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 I cannot wait to show off fucking Joe Baker and his bold okay. punching fists just of justice. Fine. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. I can't, and we have plenty of stuff. I cannot wait to look forward to the series. Like, first off, again, I do, I will still say that out of the remake trilogy, I do think two is probably one of their best ones they've done. Two is and the best remake, in my opinion. Three, three has a lot of fun action pieces. Um, but one I do love. One right, one yeah, yeah. It, it changes a lot. That I don't again. Know it's, I think we brought it before. It works much better as an expansion to two as opposed to being its own sixty dollars yeah. right. affair. Yeah, that, that's the other thing. And then one I still will like in the sense of like they did they did a lot they did a good amount to update things while doing while keeping the original like format as as similar as they could. Um, but I mean, like once we get around to four. Five when you hear Matt yell a lot. Six when you hear Matt cry a lot, and then seven and eight when you start getting to like the, the series seven does and eight have a lot of I will peaks. cheer a lot. Yeah, and then the again, co-op like, stuff. I, oh, yeah, I love the Resident Evil franchise. Seven is hands down my favorite game in the whole franchise. Like seven is just a breath of fresh air to me. You're doing just fine without me. I came along and got y'all sorted. Like even I love the Resident Evil Two remake, but my God. I fucking love Seven. If only we could just see Mr. Ethan Winters' face. Uh, and actually say that. And actually say that it's canon. Yeah, that's fair. She was an alchemist. Doesn't that look like something from fucking? It does look like the alchemist symbol. It does look like the alchemist symbol. And please, thank you to not have her sound like freaking uh uh. I was gonna say, thank you to the developers who understood that this was a serious moment and that she shouldn't sound like Pazuzu here. You know, she uh, sure yeah, does Pazuzu. almost look like it at times. I, I was actually hoping you would reference the whole Pazuzu thing from Exorcist. I was she does when, with with her eye when her eye gets all G virus. Yeah, like that, it, it kind of starts looking like it. I don't think the real time fandom even did that. They knew it was too low. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, I think. Some things are just be best left left alone. I still. It was just don't get lunchables in your eyes. Again, it's just that simple. take note, Yoshi's New Island. There's some things you just leave in the past and don't fucking t tarnish the mood of. But but what if but, but what if we bring the kazoo? Yoshi's New uh, Island I don't know. sucks. I don't know. Let, I don't let, know about, let, but, but let what the, if we let, bring every kazoo in the world? Let, let, the first, <laughs> the let the first delivery be the correct do, one. Do, 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 I'm just saying. Do, if you really want a new this, game that badly, way, just make it an actual, like, make it, like, again, New Island really, I, not, by the way, your again, DS was a fine enough, like, that I thought was all by right. By the way, again, those yeah. doors are needlessly complicated. They're very secure. So anyway, uh, here, so yeah, this room here gets a lot more significance because... What we're going to be attempting to do here is we're going to be attempting to go through this area to obtain the vaccine that Leon and Ada were after, of which there was only one vial. Yet Leon and Ada uh, had a whole was it, were they going after, Were they going after the vaccine? I thought they were just going after they the G sample. Get, they weren't getting a vaccine. They were getting the G sample. They, uh, for oh, Claire, getting she's vaccine. getting a vaccine. Hey. Okay. Which, uh, boy, I wish he told Jill about this before. <laughs> it would have made Jill's whole story a little bit, uh... A little bit easier. We just had a copy of it. Anywho, uh, wait. Are you, oh, oh, you mean in uh, our for our three? Oh yeah, yeah. R3 is this whole thing. Well, to be, to well, no, to be fair, here. three and two are simultaneously going together. Like that, and to be uh, fair, she wasn't yeah. infected with the G virus. She was infected by whatever the fucking nemesis just inserted in her. It, it was it was an upgraded form of T. T. Oh, oh my gosh! Got to keep track of all this. So also, you know, they, for the sake of prophecy, they call the vaccine the vaccine for the G virus devil. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Look at that. <laughs> well, for now, they, so uh, we call it the perhaps. double vaccine. Brought to you by the Majima Corporation. Hmm. I mean, so, I really wouldn't put it past them. So, yep. With that said, or was it Majima? Sorry, to be... Kishima. Sorry, the Kishima. Kishima. Yeah, Majima. <laughs> Sorry, Majima. Majima Construction Company. Get you, John. <laughs> so, welcome everybody to the uh, nest. Uh, join us as we're going to hopefully get hype back, and we're uh, again. We're already nearing the final uh, third of this game. Uh, it, it, have fun, because we're going to actually you know, try to finish this up properly. Hey, people who watch our videos, who here actually would like a, a uh, Yakuza look-through? Let us know. Bye.
just gonna say as an aside, could they couldn't they have found a better bed for Sherry just to, to lay on top of? I mean, it looked all blood stained. Whose blood is this? Wait, whose blood is this? Your mom's. Is it really? Hell if I know. <laughs>